All right. And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, dale, it's dale. the Dad's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Switch. I'm here with your man, Jimmy. I'm here with your man, Ant. I'm here with your man, Jay. And we got a very, very special guest, our homie from Staten Island, Ray. What's up? What's up? Get on them, bucks. <laughs> what was going that? On? Birdman? That was no. Birdman? No. <laughs> that was the first W. Oh, the woo. <laughs> Peace so, to the up, gods and the earths. You know what I mean? Peace to the gods and the earths out there. What's up, Lord? What's what's going on, fellas? Today's what's what's today's knowledge, mathematics, knowledge. huh? Today's math is knowledge, knowledge. Oh, okay. You talking that? You talking <laughs> Some that? Some people gonna be mad already. Talking about, that's not Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how was y'all weekend? Well, nah. weekends, weekends already done, right? We're in the middle of the week. In it's, the middle it's, of the week. It's, it's, it's I'm so used day. to our Monday, our Monday episodes that I'm like, how's everybody's weekend? But right. I haven't seen y'all in two days, man. I was y'all last two days on Monday. Yeah, I didn't see you too. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever. Man. It's Wednesday. Damn, man. These are these unemployed folks, man. Wow. Wow. Shots, man. Wow. 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 He said, he said, I want my gone. stimulus back. He said, I want that 1200 He's doing a reverse wire out your account. He had yeah, to get his money, though. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that, though. That was just a meme. Nah, no, nah, say <laughs> Yeah, man. There's a lot of people that have been getting uh, uh, unemployed recently, man. Your man Carl Uh-oh. Lentz from Hillsong. Ooh. 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 Fellas heard about that, that man. man? Heard about it. Yeah, he seen man. the letter, right? They dropped the letter, a note or something. What was it? Nah, they sent they sent an email to 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 uh oh the uh, email yeah, yeah but yeah then they they didn't put it on the Instagram oh the might have well he 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 had post he had made a post on Instagram yeah he saying, did saying that he's stepping down and then Hillsong had made a post as well oh. but before all that came out we already kind of had the scoop because from the email you know our sources. <laughs> Wait, we know Wait, people, and then why? What y'all, what y'all feel about that? Because some people felt like he shouldn't have, he should have not been fired. Um, as far as you know, being fired from Hill, like, like you know, let go of as far as the job or the position. What so thing what happened? Happen. It's my thing, right? Because I said this before. Like, why is it well, you make one mistake? You could be on point for like 10, 15 years, right? And you make one mistake. And it's like this whole big announcement in front of the world. Right. They gotta excommunicate you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and and that ruins your your reputation. Like we're not people anymore. Like I understand we got standards, I understand all of that, but it's like where does standards and humanism meet? Because I thought we we know we're not perfect, right? Right. Uh, right. Well, here's uh, something to combat at that, right? The 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 press well not press release or whatever you want to call it that was sent out to members. Obviously, people are gonna start leaking in and it gets to the press and then that's how it makes a big commotion. That's true. But initially, it. initially it was it was sent within you know leadership. So, right. um, yeah. But but either way, like. So, but you write that one thing. Him you having know, a how, moment means he unfit the lead all of a sudden, like, mm. or he became unfit when you found out. Yeah, that's mm. what it was. Mm-hmm. You know what that yeah. just uh. well, when I when they when they sent the uh, the letter, it was like it was multiple things, right? It was m- not just moral failure, but they said that he had uh, was it something about trust in the in 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 the in the, tr- in, the in the church. Did so it's that? it's yeah it seemed yeah. like something that was more than just this one moment. Um yeah. that's what that's I mean, just me reading into it. I'm not sure, but it it probably seemed that way and you know maybe the moral fa- failure which which we found out was him cheating on his wife. 
Called um, it, yo. Cause that's what he said, right? Yeah, and had called it because he was like, I know what it's it is. Profit, bro. It, it was, <laughs> it's always there, the, profit. the email says. Well, it was uh, the way they worded the email though, because there was a paragraph in there, and they seemed like they were sympathetic towards his wife. In yeah, the, they did. They dropped yeah. her. Yeah, they did. They dropped her in the in the email. You're right. And right. then it was her. like, oh yeah, Carl too. But it just it was really directed mm. at his wife and their sympathy and how they felt bad for her in that specific paragraph. I was like, yo, he did like. Something. So how many times has somebody got knocked from a position for something that wasn't infidelity? That's a mm. great question. Because that's always the case. So is that the only thing they're doing wrong? Well, no, I, I disagree. I think most past, like sometimes when this happens, when it comes to like infidelity, what they'll do is the past will step down, right? They're not necessarily fired or you know, lose a position to church, but they make them like mm. take a break or whatever. In my understanding, this has been maybe one of the few times somebody's actually been fired, you know, maybe from the church. Maybe he but don't I'm, want to step down. But I'm just saying the fall off is always infidelity. infidelity yeah. Like, yeah, it always yeah. seems yeah. that way. Can, right, can, right. You, guys, can you guys think of any any other pastor who, like, who's been forced to step down for any step other reason? Like pastor shot somebody or nothing. Nah. <laughs> that's, that's, hog that's hog mob that's hog mob that's hog mob that's in Cali <laughs> they fell out there yeah. with the beam on you and yeah, that's that's how they get initiated you know what I mean yo <laughs> but it's true it's, it almost seems like when they do anything else it's like a slap on the wrist but when it comes to adultery it's like ah yo, like. so I've, I've been I've been to two churches where the pastor had to step down um I would what do you mean? Same reason. Similar reasons. Uh, still sexual sin. So the first one, I was going to uh, Church of the Harvest, and that's what Bishop McClendon, and um, he got caught in infidelity, and he was asked to be step. He was asked to step down by the Foursquare Church because he was a member of the Foursquare Church, and he was like, "Nah, skip that. I'm leaving the Foursquare Church." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and so. He started, he kept his church. He kept the name of his church. He just started a new church that was non-denominational. So he never stepped down. And then, you know, a few weeks later, he was remarried. You know what I'm saying? With a brand new wife wow. and everything. Yeah. You said the next week. Mm. Same, go same goes no, for Jamal. No, in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Same goes yeah. for what? Playing the wedding. For Jamal, Jamal Bryant. I mean, oh, his church found him, you know, cheating around, but That's he crazy, didn't lose right? his church. You know, nah, he went preaching, to another church that had that lost their pastor for cheating. Wow. <laughs> and then I went to another church. I was at a, a P4CM. I was at Passion for Christ Movement. And the pastor, he wasn't married, right? He was single. But he he was like... Messing around? He, yeah. He, so if, if a cute girl came through... Uh, he yeah, he would man. volunteer. He would volunteer to disciple him. You know what I'm yeah, saying? <laughs> he was laying yeah. hands. Okay. Yeah, he he, he was laying left. hands, bro. <laughs> so like like in in the in the in the in the sense of in the sense of like what what Riggs is talking about. I think I think I think for that. Um, oh, I see the dog in the background. What's going oh, my on? Dog's What's popping? <laughs> right here, dog. <laughs> um, you know, in in that case, I think I think it was it was right for him to step down to be forced because he was like hollering at all the shorties at church he was a predator you know what i'm saying so like, right that's different you know what yeah saying? yeah yeah it wasn't like you know yeah. it was so we don't like we, we kind of don't know what what you know to what extent right this, yeah, this kind of relationship is. is like we don't know if he's been and you know what's another thing we never we never hear about women talk about these things Word. we only hear the men the point. side we never hear like yo this female it's almost like it's always the and and, and what and, you mean like like if it was like Paula White or something, not like a Paula woman pastor. White. What do you mean? Like the women that are involved. Like I want to know oh. who are these women that they're getting oh, involved with. Maybe they, they don't. They, they don't want to. Um, come are they forward, people you know in the church? Are they people outside of the church? Is this like? Because listen, recently the same thing happened to. Um, I was I, like I started watching this uh, virtual church online that my that my friend attends. And, you know, I was loving it. I was getting fed there. I'm listening to the word. And this pastor, I'm like, yo, this dude's on point. You know what I mean? And then <laughs> same kind of situation. They they found out that he was cheating on the, on the um, cheating with one of the sisters or something like that in the church. Right. 
And I'm like, yo, like I, w- I was so thrown back by that because, you know, this dude had discipled and mentored other people. You know what I mean? Like he's helping other people uh, overcome their sexual problems or their sexual addictions. And he's dealing with this. So it was. But I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you know, I want to know, like, where who are these females? Like, I don't know. I guess the story behind it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it's not important, but it's just like all these passes that keep falling. Maybe they need to know their limits. Like, you know, what was it? Was it Billy Graham that said he don't even get into an elevator with another female alone or something like that? Like, he was like, I don't even go to in the elevator. If I see that an elevator is, is there with a female alone, I'm not jumping in there because of just not even just because he might be attracted, but just if the female said, oh, he tried to yeah, holler at me want, or made yeah, up a story. He don't even want that on his jacket like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, and then I recently, remember, um, What's his name? Ravi Zacharias, too. Oh, we never touched on that. Accusation, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, After man. his death. It's like you wait till he died. It. Uh, I don't know. Man. Yeah, that one, I don't know. I ain't. That's why I didn't even want to touch on it, because they ain't exactly. really speaking on even, much about it before. Even at this point. Like, you're just trying to sully people celebrating his death or people acknowledging yeah, you know what I'm saying the great things you want to come out of the world. Where, and, and, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm, quote unquote, victim shaming and all of that, but it's like when you cry wolf so many times, you know, with this movement going on where everybody's right. getting called out, it's like you don't know what's real from what's not. And if it mm-hmm. was if it was like that, why you wait till after he passed? You know what I'm saying? Right. So it yeah. kind of makes it look not legit. Strange. Yeah. And you kind of hurt the argument for other women that have gone through it. And that's true. Want to come forward and say something. So and he can't even really defend himself. He can't I mean, defend himself. He can't, you know what I'm saying? He can't really. He can't at all. <laughs> but <laughs> so it was yeah. like, what are you getting out of that? You can't sue him. You can't get him locked up. So what was yeah. your What was your the purpose? point? What was your yeah. motivation? You know what I mean? And you you kind of you kind of enable them too because let's just say the allegations are true, right? Like you not saying something allowed for him to maybe do that to somebody else. You know what I mean? Right, like exactly. you enable the predator, you know, in some sense, you know? Right, because it, it wasn't something. It wasn't something where she was alleging like we had an affair or something like that. It was like mm. she was straight violated, you know. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly, that allegedly. Happened. And yeah. I don't put my head on the block for nobody. I have seen a lot of things, but you know, it, it is what it is. Like it's hard for us because we so far from the situation. We have seen it like everybody else. So yeah, what we could do is have our discussions about it. That ain't really moving nothing. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, True. And whoever's affected is affected, and that's it, really. I mean, yeah, I th- I think they definitely should should step down. You know what I mean? I've I remember in my past, like I had walked away from for many years, and I, it was because of lust. You know what I'm saying? And I had to just you just got to stop. You know what I'm saying? You can't you you really need to take a step back in what you're doing in life. You know what I mean? And really consider. But were you were you uh, were you like involved in the church? Were you leading any classes, yeah. or you had mm. you had okay? So you had a no. You I had wasn't. A I wasn't. But I was doing. I was doing ministry. You know what I'm You're saying. I was doing a lot of ministry. Yeah. Um. Did they ask you to step down, or that was something you you wanted to do yourself? You see that the problem with me was I had so much guilt and then shame yeah. from it that yeah. I just ran away completely. I was just like, I'm not dealing with church. I'm not dealing. Right. This is. This is Ooh, bigger than back. everything. Yeah, I went. That's when I, I, I all felt in. all the like once I confessed it and tried to deal with it, I couldn't deal with it. I was just like in so much shame and guilt of what I had done because I, at that time I was also supposed to be married. You know, what I mean, I, mm-hmm. I wasn't married, but I was supposed to get into uh, you were engaged. Yeah, I was engaged to be married. So then I had to confess that to her. You know what I'm saying? So I've heard so many people in that process that they would never think they'd be like, nah, Serge, like he would never do that. Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't know, like I had this, this thing that was hidden, you know what I mean? And I, I just never dealt with it. And that's why the word says, confess your sins to one another, man. And, and the blessing is you felt guilty. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the right. civil lining in that situation. Cause a lot of people right. don't feel guilty and they'll sit right there mm. and, and step up. Like, yo, I want I want more positions in the church. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and don't feel nothing. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's true. I mean, like that's I've been that true. guy. I've done a lot of things where like like after I got saved that I acknowledged it was evil, but I was like, why don't I feel bad? Like maybe I'm just not really saved like that. 
Mm-hmm. You know, um, and 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 sometimes it came from the church I was in at the time, where a lot of people around me. It was the typical like everybody was fronting type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because I was genuine, but I was genuine about my dirt too. You know what I'm mm, saying? And right, everyone right. around me is just so joyful and so saved and they ain't doing nothing. I'm just like, damn, I guess I'm not saved like that until you got to know these people and you realize they was worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm just like, dad, you ain't got no shame. Like you done just finished crying. You just finished like laid out on the floor and then you got up like, yo, so, <laughs> you know, so let's go with. And I'm like, wow, really? You yeah. Know, so I realized, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's dangerous because that, that front makes people like I really almost walked away because I said I still believed in God. But I was just like, he's sovereign enough not to choose me because the way everyone around me is acting and, and, and talking like they live in, it's not what I'm living and I'm not fronting for people because I can't front for God. You know what I'm saying? So right, I was right. just like, I guess he ain't choose me, you know, and then he kept me enough till I grew my maturity, but that stuff is dangerous, man. Cause that's, that's why good. people walk away. They, they vanish. Like you talked about in your experience when, you know, depending on situation, you could at least come with your head down. Like, yo, I messed up. I, you know I mean? I'm here and you know, people embrace you and they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they help build you back up build you up yeah but you ain't gotta be so like yo i, I need to just yeah my saying? problem i think also was like i i was only i was probably on it was i was only remorseful because i felt that guilt i don't feel like it was total repentance because then i just kept on yeah, and then yeah, it yeah. was just like i let go completely like ah, uh, yeah, yeah i can't I, I felt like my lust was too big like oh, i can never fight this i can't overcome this yeah, it ain't understand. going nowhere yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But but listen, man, all of us as believers, like when we deal with something and we got to struggle, like we have to have that accountability. We have to go above and beyond when it Absolutely. comes to that particular area, you know, whatever it is, whatever. If people are into those kind of vices, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it doesn't really necessarily go away. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It just it comes back and then you just got to learn like, no, I'm not going to do this. And yeah. Yeah, like that's serious. It's serious. They just got to stop being so taboo to to put on the table. Yeah, that's what makes people hide in it, and they go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Depending where you at, you may never come back from that. Yeah, yeah. I was about one, to say it got to be your environment, who you surround yourself with. You know, right. right. One one of the things that Carl said on his post, and I uh, quote, he says, "I did not do an adequate job of protecting my own spirit, refilling my own soul, and reaching out." to the readily available help that is available. So, mm. I mean, it goes to show how, you know, <clears throat> I mean, obviously these, you know, celebrity passes, you, you know, like they say, mm. you know, involved with so many people of influence and stuff like that. Like it, it, it might be maybe easier to fall into temptation or whatever than, you know, Joe Schmo that nobody really knows about, mm. you know? And I think we can learn that, you know, we need to take steps to protect our own heart and our own soul and everything because we don't know, you know, everybody, you know, falls short from, you know, the glory of God. And you need to, you know, if it's on Instagram, you know, got to clear out that explore feed, you know, yeah. don't be don't be following all these, you know, thoughts and TikToks and all this other stuff because <laughs> it just it, it ain't going to end TikToks. very well. You know, that sounds like a mixtape. I don't. I don't. Right, right, right. I, I, I ain't nobody. I ain't nobody. We all Jay, dro- Jay dropping a new one. Thoughts right. and TikToks. Thoughts and TikToks. That's a new tea. That's a new merch coming soon. <laughs> Shop dot, that's not Christian dot com. But yo, I, 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 I think, I think, I think, um, it's more than that, man. It's not just him being a celebrity. I, I, I think you got to create that environment and accountability. You know what I'm saying? And, and maybe it is, maybe it is that because he was a celebrity, nobody was holding him accountable, you know? Yeah. Yes, man. Asking probably. him questions. Yeah. Nobody was asking him questions, you know, like, mm-hmm. yo, how's this going? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what yeah, you but maybe they were, him? and he was just like, yo, no, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure because when, when, when you're in that type of position, you know, like you're supposed to be like, People assume that you got it all together and don't realize that you're struggling. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, mm-hmm. and we'll people assume that of you as well, you know? And, and if you don't create that environment of like, yo, I'm struggling with this or pray for me for this or that or the third, 
if you don't create that environment, then you know that's not something that people expect. You know, right, right. Like they just and they that's just even money. harder too, because you when you get in a, I'm sure that you know he was getting a bag from the church and, you know what I mean, to admit that and then just be like, well, I gotta step down because you know I've right. been I've been wilding out. You right. Know, it affects yeah. your it affects your wallet. It affects everything. You know what I mean. So he got a. Oh. Yeah. He should have less car lengths, man. Yeah, man. yeah, man. You know, just shows that he's human like like anyone else, right? Yeah, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hopefully he right. get back on his game. Who well, uh I wonder how the church members feel about it. You know what I mean? How you feel, Jay? <laughs> um, I mean <laughs> <laughs> That was a good segue. <laughs> that was when when I got the email, I was like, dang, you know, that sucks. But then I also thought, like, you know, um, I think the church had to do whatever they had to do. I also think, like, you know, Hillsong is huge. Like, if you think of, like, a big corporation, like, Hillsong is one of the huge uh, churches that there are in the world. You know, and I and I think maybe, you know, um, the, you know, Brian, who's a, the senior pastor, deciding to, hey, we're going to let you go. Um, I don't know. I felt like it was the right move because... Um, Hillsong hasn't really been known for that type of controversy. They've had other controversies before, but when it comes to like everybody, you know, walking and leaning in line with, with God, it hasn't really been, you know, like that. This is probably the the, the major one. Um, so I, I, you know, and I also think like it could have been maybe in his contract, like, hey, listen, if you mess up here, 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 then I'm sorry, but you gotta go. You know? Yeah, you gotta go. You know, business. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, and uh, and the money, the money's low right now with you know, COVID and everything. You know, what I'm saying. I don't that think they're like struggling. The, I don't think like the they're best struggling. opportunity. You don't think? They're I mean, struggling? yeah, I don't I mean, think they're struggling. It can't be the same. The money ain't the same, bro. You can't. Yeah. Nah, but I they mean, be sending every, they be sending them ties to. Oh, they got auto money. pay. They got auto yeah. pay. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I mean, right the, the, yeah, the church used to do. Uh, <laughs> Or it does like every year a whole you know financial review whatever, so oh, they've so been okay saw, pretty much. They've been okay. I, yeah, at the local church I would say. So yeah, so you haven't stopped tithing is what you're saying? Uh, I mean yes, I have. Yeah, he said. Oh uh. yeah. <laughs> well, see, that's what I'm saying. Other other people yeah. may have too, so the, nah, the money I, might be I low. I think a lot of people have. Yeah, uh, to say that it's not the same as you know when everybody was there. Okay, sure. You yeah. know, but that they're struggling, like you know, hey, we might not. No, I'm not. Keep, say, I'm not saying. I'm not saying like keep this. this you saying he got right? laid off? Like <laughs> it, was, it was the perfect storm. Like yo, this is great. Yeah, like, like a PR thing. Let him like, right. Yeah, they had to pay him, him out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying they're struggling with like to keep the lights on, man. But like you know, your your ties is down. You know what I mean? You got to let somebody go. You're not having church service. You know because <laughs> Cuomo, whoever you know, like Cuomo. <laughs> I mean, you are having church service Cuomo. online. Yeah. yeah, it's good promo. Yeah, Brad, you just <laughs> for all them years, you should have been stacking it somewhere for time. That's breaks. right. That's right, right. right. Exactly. I know. Yeah. I know he's not making no I mean, thirty thousand a year. <laughs> not for sure. No, no, for sure not. Um, but yeah, now, but I hope he but, invested in Tesla for sure. But now, does he get like a severance package with that? Because <laughs> it's does like, it look like I'm part of the contract team. <laughs> so the final. I'm just saying, like you letting the dude go, but this is his well. You know what I mean? His well being. Well. Got a golden oh, yeah. parachute. So now, do yeah. you send him with a little <laughs> care package? I mean, like, look, it could man. be. It could be. He could still hold his masters. When when it comes to like these big got churches, three sixty. Yeah. <laughs> three sixty. <laughs> Like all when his it comes sermons, to the, yeah, yeah. This, this, uh, the big churches usually have stuff like that, you know, yeah, they, they give big contracts, out. retirement plans, and stuff like that. So, they pay them out. yo, man, they forget podcasting, man. I'm gonna be a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the heck, <laughs> call, call, oh, Lentz, call Lentz and Trump could do a mixtape called Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Word, that yo, that's a good point because he had yo, he was firing mad people. Yeah. Trump has been firing everybody. Oh, he just bro. fired somebody, right? He yeah. fired he's his uh, TV, defense man. defense secretary. He got he Didn't fired it? him after he got fired. <laughs> See, <laughs> CNN had a CNN had an article today that said that um, Trump staffers are told not to quit because if they hear that they're gonna that they're quitting, they're just gonna fire you. I was like, okay, 
What's the difference? Isn't that the same thing? Yeah. Right. And there were some other folks too, like two days after, right? Like the nuclear, the head of nuclear or something. There was like three other folks uh, that got fired. I don't know exactly, but I know that the defense secretary was the big one. Mm -hmm. um, and people were saying that, you know, they already had kind of issues because I think he had criticized Trump when Trump did that photo op in front of uh, the White House. No. And and he was like, you know, I don't when that pro whole protest thing was happening. He was like, yeah, I don't think that that was, you know, that that was fruitful for the for the country. You can't um, criticize Trump, huh? Yeah. And then no it's, what, what's crazy is that he what, what the dude got like a month and a half left before Biden gets in. Right. <laughs> if it's Biden like, gets in, the they're, fight, right they're now. fighting that. They're fighting that. What's the point of doing that right now? Exactly. All right. So now nobody's running the security. That joint just opened. No, he replaced nah, somebody. He somebody. Yeah. Oh, he already got somebody. Yeah, he got uh, what's his name, Miller. Yeah. Miller. Oh, okay. Yeah, Basically. but some people were concerned because they're like, that dude is a temp. Yeah, but <laughs> but they're like, <laughs> he works like, for a deco. Just, keep, just keeping were, the same pay from before. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. How you brought in a temp? <laughs> he only did four months, yo. Right? Days, right? Hey. <laughs> yeah. He in that Christmas bag, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Some people were just like they were a little skeptical because they're like, "Oh, defense secretary. What about you know um, the safety of the of the of the country. country and stuff like that?" Or is Trump trying to? Uh, put his pieces together so they're going to try to take over the, the, the world and the government. <laughs> yeah. So some people were concerned about that. I don't know how true that is. I don't know if a defense secretary <laughs> really has much to do with that. But uh, uh, ain't nothing going to happen if he ain't sitting there. Like Nobody going to be all of a sudden like, yo, defense secretary got fired. We moving in. Like, Yeah. <laughs> right. <honestly>. right. <laughs> they're vulnerable. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, yeah man. What but what y'all like, feeling about this, this crazy, whole uh man. what y'all feel about this whole election? This whole like what, recently what I had it? I had seen something about that they, they found a gentleman who had 134 counts of fraud, right, in Texas. And what do you and mean 134 counts of fraud? What do you mean? Someone someone got accused right. of, of, of fraud. 134 counts? Was it hmm? like what kind of fraud? What you mean? Like he was doing credit like, card scams they, or they brought a fraud. Math. Like how many yeah. counts of voter fraud can you get? So, so you're trying to say Trump might have not won Texas? Is what you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> there were 134. Yo, Let's this see. dude voted 134 times. Listen, man. Wow. Yo, the only thing I, look, with the whole voter fraud thing, like the main fraud that I've heard was like them getting late ballots in and counting them. Right. Right. But my thing is. If they counted them on time, it still be Biden votes. So what's the problem? Yo, what's weird is like I seen a video where like this dude is 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 in the landfill and he opens up a bag and just coincidentally the first envelope that he opens up is a vote for Trump. Like, oh. what are the odds of that? Right? Like, oh, I, like if they throwing away if they throwing away votes and these these envelopes are sealed, like how how do they know that they're Trump votes? Okay. You know Exactly. I, I got it. Sorry to cut y'all off. Texas official and three others indicted on 134 felonies in mail-in ballots fraud case but that came out. Six, but that came out September 24th, 2020. Oh, that was a while ago. Right. And that's and that's um. Well, but yeah, and it never popped up until Trump lost. Right. Mm. Actually, this thing happened in 2018. <laughs> How many wanted clicks? So was it, was it CNN? Oh. No, nah, it wasn't CNN. It was, it was oh. like one of Fox those News? right, right, no, right wing. Oh, right Fox News. It's just amazing. Uh, no, this yeah. one says actually is ABC Texas. So it actually, it isn't Dude. right wing. It's amazing okay. how when Trump beat Hillary. One side was saying what the other side is saying now. Yeah, that part. That part, because I saw videos in 2016 where Trump is talking about voter fraud, and then he wins. Right. You know, like, so is it voter fraud or not? It's you like, kind of quiet now, son. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just and like... Then, mm, the and then the Democrats... Then, then the Democrats were talking Russian collusion, right? Right after right. that, when Trump won, like, right. you know, that, that, that there was some sort of voter fraud. 
right. and People now they acting about that for years. Adam yeah, Andrews and now they're like, not. They real. acting like there's no such thing as voter fraud now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like it's impossible. By the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now the magazine is like in house collusion. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Democrats are like ain't no Russians around here. Right. 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 <laughs> Well, really, just, just, what about that that USPS dude that uh from PA was it PA from Erie PA that uh they found stuff and then he's getting who, investigated and then he, he said it was and then yeah and then he signed an affidavit and recanted uh, yeah and said, like nah. what the heck was that all about and then he he just dropped a video right dude is a weirdo he did the whole video in full uniform get out of here yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was on uh, what That's was it? Clicks, Pro- though, man. Project, That's project, what was that? Veritas, Veritas, yeah. Veritas. Yeah, Veritas. Veritas. is that legit? Is that side legit? Huh? I don't know how you. Want you know, to. there's, 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 um, there's mixed reviews about what's yeah. going on with them. Like, you go online, you can see some stuff of uh, people bashing them and saying some of the stuff was fake. He's actually won some cases against um the media where they had to like retract some statements about him saying that he was fake news. Hmm. Who the dude or the the website? The dude, the dude James O'Keefe. Yeah, I'm oh, okay. Well, the guy who owns the, the guy who owns the website. Oh, okay. yeah, the website. Yeah, that's that's Voss' go to joint right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah Voss about to pop up every time he, talks about stuff, yo, he just pops up. Yo, yo, go <laughs> live, man. Go live. Go live man. Man. <laughs> yeah, go live, yo. You sure you want to talk about that? Let's go live. Oh, yo, but they, they've they've exposed a lot of stuff. Like they they did that thing with um. With uh, Planned Parenthood, where they were like selling body parts and all that stuff. Oh, you know, there was that? the one that exposed yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they they wow. do a lot of that undercover stuff. You know, they're the one that they're, they're the ones. I think I think the way he blew up was because during the Obama administration, he um he went to go register and he was acting like he was a pimp. Did y'all see that? Y'all remember that? No. Uh, yeah, he was no. acting like he was a he was a pimp and and like register people to from, what? People to uh to vote for Acorn. He went to like an acorn office. You remember acorn, right? When Obama mm-hmm. was running, mm-hmm. he was going in there and, and he tried to register for something. I don't remember what it was, but that video went viral. And that's how that dude blew up. And then he's been doing like exposés like that ever since. Yeah. So this dude is this gentleman is saying that he works for USPS, USPS. Mm-hmm. and that his manager was post dating the, the ballots, right? For November 3rd. When they were already coming after, after the fact, right? Or they were they were set to come later than that. Um, so then he goes on and he show and he shows that website. The website puts him up. They call the manager from the USPS. The guy picks up, hangs uh-huh. up mm-hmm. the phone, um, and then so this this video goes viral, right? Right wing is like, you see, there's voter fraud, da da da. Then next thing you know, Washington Post the other day says. That this gentleman, obviously, they're, they're investigating the whole situation and that he recanted <laughs> his statement. Yeah. So yeah. supposedly, allegedly, he recanted his statement and then he filled out an affidavit, a federal affidavit, right? Stating that yeah. um, that's not what happened. And then he goes on, what, the next day or a couple hours later and is right yeah. back on the website saying, I never recanted. This is false. But the right? Fed said the Fed the Fed said he signed a document, a federal affidavit. So you know, I haven't seen the the the, the affidavit yet. Yeah, I don't even know what but, his signature look like. Right, even if they do show, it, right? i be like, yo, that's his signature. He kind of made it seem like they manipulated or they they. Well, did you hear the tape? Them. Did and you I hear the tape? The whole thing. It's like four hours though, right? Yeah, I, I I heard I heard like seven minutes of a tape and and the fbi agent just sounds greasy man you know what i'm saying he's like he's like what did he say he said something like um i'm something like i'm not trying to manipulate you or i'm not trying to pressure you but i'm pressuring you or something like that yeah. i forgot what he said but i, I was just that. like yo yeah, these guns, dudes is... he had a gun to his ribs right right <laughs> right like he was trying to say this is this is big like don't play with this kind of thing right like right this is you, you you're really dealing with some big stuff right here yeah, so I remember they tried that with me in the investigation room. They yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> exclusive right here. Throw. <laughs> oh y'all never. Oh I I thought that was a regular thing. I, <laughs> I guess. We- <laughs> 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 you mean you get a question? Oh. Yeah, I got a question. They tried oh. like you know, yeah yeah. I got a question for a murder. Some, uh, little small stuff. Whatever. Little yeah. small stuff. He yeah. said a little little something yeah. crazy. Little, I ain't something doing. in the past. I, I didn't do it, so you know. 
they try to put pressure, <laughs> they try to put pressure on me. So, no, oh, to say you did it, or so I know if he did. knew. Oh, oh, right. oh yeah, yeah. So, 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 what you say is like, hey, I need my lawyer. Like every time or what? Or you just I, 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 no, I just looked. I just looked at him like he was stupid. And he got that mad. was a, that was a seven five. <clears throat> That's where I was at. That's where you was at. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, everybody's telling their jail stories now. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I, I ain't never been to jail. I never been. Nah. <laughs> well, but that's you know, good. You know what else has been going on? Um, wait, wait. Up, what? I, wait, what? You, hold on. Let me let you finish. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go answer. ahead. No, I was going to say what you guys think about um, the networks being like whenever anybody talks from Trump's administration, they cut off. Yo, I thought that was foul. That's that is foul, right? I thought that was foul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Fox like News, Fox News did it too. Exactly. Like, yeah. Fox exactly. News did 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 Trump dirty though, man. Like they're the first they ones like to call anyway. Arizona. They're the ones. They're the reason yeah. why I think they were like the first ones to say that 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 Trump lost. You know, and yes. like even even that press that press conference where they was talking about voter fraud. Um, what's Shorty's name? The, uh, Kaylee. The press, Kaylee. Kaylee. Yeah, the secretary. She she was. I seen. I think it was grow the heck up. I think they posted they posted like the YouTube link and it was I was on my phone. I didn't want to watch it on the phone. I wanted to watch it on the TV. When I go to my TV on the YouTube app, I start searching for it. That joint don't come up, man. I type in her name. I type in Trump. I type in White House. Nobody, none of the news stations is playing it. Right. I'm like, yo, this is weird. Right. And so I go back. To, I go back to the grow the heck up channel. Right. On Telegram. And uh, I look I look to see who posted it. Right. And it said. It was on uh, Donald Trump's YouTube page, right? So I go to I go to YouTube again and I search I search uh, Donald Trump's YouTube page and that joint ain't coming up. And I'm what? like, oh, this is um, yeah. I'm like, this is going wow, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and then so I ended up watching it on my phone, and then like on the bottom it says like, you know, like you you know how they fact checking now and they're doing like fake news. You know, there's no evidence of voter fraud or whatever, whatever. Like it, it had like yeah, some yeah, sort yeah, of like yeah. caption like that. And I was like, yo, this is wild, man, because like. All right, let's let's say let's say Donald Trump is lying, right? Let's just say let's just say for the sake of argument, he's lying. Like, why wouldn't you want to put that out there and show like, look, all right, we're going to show all this because this dude lying and we're about to catch him. We're about to expose him that he's lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mm. why wouldn't you put that on TV? You know, like I feel like. I feel like they know that there's some voter fraud. I mean, we know that there's been voter fraud going on forever. Like yeah, the United yeah. States has has intervened, intervened in, in all types of elections internationally. You know like what I mean? When, all like over the world. Gore, you know what I mean? Like when Al Gore beat Bush. Even yeah, that. Yeah, even that. Florida. <laughs> uh, even, 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 even when 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 Trump ran against uh, uh, Hillary. Uh, Hillary, they stole that from Biden. So like, if the Democrats mm-hmm. would steal the election from or, or, or steal the nomination from from uh, from Bernie. No, from Bernie. Right? Yeah. Bernie from Bernie. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean Bernie. Biden. I said Biden, but I'm I'm in Bernie. If they stole it from Bernie, why wouldn't they steal it from Trump? Someone who they hate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they, they've been playing it. Because think about it, it is the perfect storm where it's like, yeah. all right, mail-in ballots is easy to manipulate. For easier sure. Easier than people coming in. For sure. You know, because you may feel like he got a momentum. You're looking at more people taking his side. Cause he did say. Oh, I'm gonna get more of the black vote next time around, which right. was becoming true. Mm-hmm. And just in general, and because the Democrats didn't really have somebody, a strong candidate. Because let's right. be real, nobody voted for Biden; they just voted against Trump. Mm-hmm. Facts. Yeah. No Facts. one likes. You know what I'm saying? Mega. So, you know what I mean? So the, you got the whole right, oh, the virus down. going around. Right. The numbers right. don't even match up to the sh- the, the, sh- the the shutdowns and all of that. And then now you got to mail in your votes to be safe. And now we got right. all this going on. But it's just right. like, but my thing is, it was going on before you. It probably is also how you got there. Take it right. on the chin. <laughs> right. Right. Because it's been right. going down. Right. Mm-hmm. And, so and, and also, who's to say that it's not from both sides, neither? You know what I mean? That the Republicans aren't... um mm you know doing the mail-in fraud because it all it almost seems like oh it's the democrats that just do it like i'm pretty sure they got their side who who because like jimmy said how you know what's in the envelope yeah Yeah, exactly you know what i mean so it could be either way so well you know and and the the thing the thing that 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 kind of sticks out to me too is that trump trump told his people not to vote 
by mail. He said, go in. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The demo the Democrats are pushing mail in ballots. So if if Trump is telling his people don't do mail in ballots, he's afraid they're gonna cut them joints off before they get there. Right. Then then why would somebody grab a trash bag full of 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 uh, envelope, you know, like envelopes of, of votes and, and it, just right, throw it out if you already votes. right exactly right, exactly right. exactly right you know so it's just a lot of questions man yeah, but a lot of yeah. these articles i don't believe is legit all of these right capture videos like oh i caught somebody like i don't believe in none of that either and, did and that's the, the thing the, man the, like we losing we losing a lot of faith in the media and the government mm -hmm. it's just like i mean not faith right but no, just that's been lost bro trust that's been lost trust in right. the fact that what we're hearing is the right information Especially now, like, when you when you got these, like I was already leery when Instagram was doing the filters on your face and all that. Now they got the right. facial recognition joints where yeah. it looked like you said something you never even said. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. so the, the, just... the deep deep fakes, right? Yeah. Deep fakes, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah. Which is what the the reason I bring up the whole you know Kellyanne um, talking and they cut her off is like, well, if she's talking about something. Shouldn't we know? Okay, so then I guess we don't need to know. Like they're already, you know, yeah, sort of like yeah. Why are you censoring? Training. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't need somebody to filter information for me. Allow me to right. be a judge me, of it. You know what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly. Exactly. If he's a clown and he's lying, like let me decide that for myself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I don't. I don't need CNN to do that for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we had a place where so, sometimes. So. It's a ripe time to have like a, a platform online where nothing is filtered because right. YouTube is filtered, everything, Facebook, Instagram. Right. So it's the right. perfect time to build something where it's just like everything fly. Yep. Right. That's what we talked right. about last episode with Monster Tarver. We said, uh, hmm. you know, we, we also have to respect that these are their platforms. You know right. what I mean? Who's to say, you know, you, what you can do in your own house? That's right. That's up you don't to like them. it, make your own. What, what, right. what makes it what makes it crazy is that everyone now, you know, before social media, everyone would get their information from either the TV. newspaper or you watch the TV. But now you can just get out of work, you know what I'm saying? Or you can get up and you just look at the phone and there's news right there. Like it's just right in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 first you had to search for it. Now it just comes to you because you get notifications or yeah. going on. Or, or you see your your boy your boy posted or or, or a friend mm -hmm. of yours and you're like the whole world <laughs> finds something out within like ten minutes. Right. Yep. No matter Probably where fast. Happen, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's true, man. Like, and then, you, know, and, you find and out about that, rappers being shot and everything, like you know, and the whole yeah. background story, like in a matter of minutes. Right. Yeah. And they already that's, got conspiracy videos on YouTube. When you go to YouTube right. check. 10 oh minutes, yeah, videos already be like 30 <laughs> minutes, 24 minutes, 11 minutes. Like, like, like everybody's like, getting there so on that like wave. ambulance chases online or something, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> but but also that's how that's how information come misinformation comes out too because it's so quick that right. no one has the don't time to really process it and yeah. say, all right, wait, let's hear this side. All right, let's see this angle of the video. Let's hear the before and after. Now it's just boom, and then it's like, oh, diligence. did you see that? Yeah, yeah. No one does their due diligence. But you know that ha that happens. That happens with the media too, though. Like you remember, you remember that cat that got blamed for the for the um, bombing in Atlanta Olympics. Mm. That, that, that wasn't even right? him. Yeah, that wasn't even him. And that was like a major news outlet. You know, and the, and the, and the mm. you know the mainstream media do it all the time. You know, like yeah. you, you find that like you know active shooter. There's you know, five guys with AR-15s, and then you find out it's like one guy with a pistol. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he was a student or something like that. You it know? just like, spreads like wildfire right. with everybody right. else, though, because you can't contain yeah. it once you right. pull it back. You know, really way to catch it. You know, once yeah, right. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't know who said it, but I don't remember who said it. But they said it's not about being right, but it's about being first when mm. it comes to the news. Yeah, because so. it's still business at the end of the day. Yo, that, but that's how it was when you was a kid and you got you got in a fight with your brother, your sister, or something like that. Whoever told mommy first was the one who <laughs> didn't get spanked. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not in my house. We all got spanked. <laughs> that's how it be in the YouTube comments too. First, the comments. First. Oh, yeah. <laughs> everybody got to be first. Anybody, well, that's that's with, because everybody fight their mother back. You said, no. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? Nah, you kidding? Shove them off. <laughs> like yo, you're wrong. Relax, <laughs> I, I relax woman. 
No, I told my mother that one time. Uh, and then she slapped the crap out of you? She hit you with a, with a she, kitchen spoon? She hit me with the frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She went yeah. all the way. Bang. I just said I eat those. And I walked <laughs> That's nothing. And then, and then got another one. Oh, you was one of those? That don't hurt? You was one of those? That don't hurt? No, I ain't get hit a lot growing up. I was a good, oh, that's good. I listened. You know what I'm saying? I was a good kid. I wasn't a problem. But when we did have the moments, yo, I'm I'm just weird like that. Whenever, if I got in trouble for something I was innocent about, I didn't take that like that with right. me. Like, I'm right. like, nah, son, I'm not doing it. But if but I did fair. it, I took it. You know what I'm saying? But if I didn't do it, like, I remember my cousin lied on me. I said I stole something I didn't steal. And he was bad, so... It became like, oh, why are you always blaming him? He always getting in trouble. And it was just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why he tried. So they try to put it on me like, oh, you the sneaky one because you don't be saying nothing. Mm-hmm. You, the issue. you the quiet one. And um, yeah, end up being a war that day because I wasn't willing to, to, to take that. You know what I'm saying? And then he confessed later, and everybody felt stupid. Now they want to take me out to eat. Like, nah. <laughs> get you that. Get you that happy meal. Remember that. I'm moving some out. Ice cream? Nah, you you got the White Castle. <laughs> I want your ugly oh ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no Corvells. <laughs> Yeah, week, Yo, man. you know what's funny? I, I was that kid. I was that. I was that cousin. <laughs> One time, I, it was me and my There's cousin. And we we just got toys, man. We just yeah. got the toys. That's not and Christian, we, brother. We was playing around, and I cussed, <laughs> and my parents heard it, and they were like, Who "What'd curse? you say? Who cursed? No, nah, I don't know. Can't say me. <laughs> oh, okay. They're like, "Who cursed? Yeah, Who up. cursed? And I ain't want right. to say nothing. And my cousin looking at me like, "Yo, just tell them because." And then I was like, nah, I'm not. I'm like, nah. And yo, they, yo, they you us. was you was the cousin that was like, yo, they got us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got us, yo. Uh, come out, come, come out. out from behind the door. They got us. That was you. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. I got it. Yo, we both got in trouble. My cousin was tight. He's come on, we mad. both got in trouble. They took yeah, his how, toys how, you, how they both get in trouble? We you both got in trouble. Because nobody wanted to say. He didn't want to snitch. Nobody. And I didn't want to I didn't want to say it was me. I just got this some dude. new toys, man. This dude, hey. uh, he like Smokey. Hey. Talking about we got to right. pay big word. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Like so like five minutes. Some things never change, I guess. Yo, wow. man. I, I remember, I remember <laughs> like dressing in layers when I knew I was going to get it. I put on my sweats under my jeans. You know wow! I mean? Like wow, they took time with you then. I put on I put on a a, a, right. a, a shirt. Uh, you know what I mean under my hoodie. Yo, how you have so much time? Yeah, because I like I'm saying like when I knew I was in trouble, like when I knew I was gonna get it, like as soon as you know put my parents got man. home, got home, it was on. <laughs> I bro, I would I would. Did you I hide under it, the bread bed? Nah, the man, bread, you can't. Bread. How you gonna do? You can't do that. <laughs> You gonna get it <laughs> right under the bread, yeah. Right under the bread. Like right? If, if I if I had that type of bread, I give it to my mom. Like, yo, don't do it here. This dude was at the bodega, right? <laughs> you hide it with the cat, with you the chopped cheese, it. right? <laughs> right behind the chopped cheese. Okay, yo. <laughs> Y'all done? Y'all done yet? <laughs> <laughs> y'all finish or y'all done? <laughs> y'all finish or y'all done? <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Yo. Yo, you know what else is going on, man? The You guys seen the protests from Trump supporters? Stop the steal? Stop the steal. They big man, huh? Like, they really have a campaign called Stop the Steal. Let it go, yo. Yeah. So they're protesting. <laughs> oh, they're protesting man. in a couple states, uh, especially the ones that they're fighting against. I guess the counts. Right. Maggie but Georgia should not be protesting. They shouldn't. <laughs> Maggie should not be protesting. <laughs> oh, let it go. <clears throat> let it go. Yo, at this point, just let it's it go. Over. It's, it's over. over. That's what, nah, that's what, it that's ain't what, over. Uh, it ain't Romney over. Romney and Bush said though. Uh, that's what it Romney ain't over for Maggie. Screw Romney. Listen, when they don't, when they don't okay. want you there, you're not getting in. Like you're not getting back. Just give it up. Yeah, that's it. Wrap yo, it. and that's how I feel. Like yo, Wrap if I was Trump. And Wrap it up. everything was against me. I'll be like, you know what? I'm going back to be my billionaire self, right? Making my money, playing my allegedly. golf, and I ain't got to deal with allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Yeah. Pride. But 
I don't got to deal with none of this. You know what I'm saying? See, like, the, the, the lefties right. is talking about as soon as he out of office, he getting locked up. So they think that's what he's trying to avoid. Trying to avoid. <laughs> yeah. Ain't locked up what? For what? You know, Ain't that the, the same, same thing with Hillary? Hillary? Hillary was gonna get locked right. up. Yeah, right. Hunter, wait, wait, I'm just telling you, what lefty say. You Hunter know. Biden's gonna get locked up. All these right. so-called yeah, right. people are gonna get locked up. Right. You would have. Yeah, man. A lot of people around Trump got locked up for real though. Yeah, but then they got out. So what's then the they got pardoned. Yeah. <laughs> that was his man. Yo, you the president. Yo, guy, just right. Like Did they get bit. pardoned? Like, yeah. Yeah. For real. Like, yo, man, I I got you. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, one of these dudes is like three months he was out. Yeah. I'm going to keep you in county and I, I'm going to get you. Don't worry. Yeah. No, Just do three months, make it look Trump, you know. So that's what that's Which what they is. that's why they think he pushing so hard. He yeah, I did hear that him. too. You know, just food after January. Just go. You better go to Russia. So I wonder what, my, the, what the charges are though. Right. But I wonder what happens like if he there goes, is fraud and it happens to be that it, everything changes. Then what? Like then what type the whole of country is going to implode? Yo. Exactly. If you're going to get the strap, yo, everybody's going crazy. I'm that's what I'm saying. Going. Don't even go outside, yo. And, and that's why I feel like, in a way, it's like it might happen, but then, it'll, like, I don't think they would want that to happen. Oh, he's profiting. Yo, but did, did you guys, no, you guys no, hear? No, 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 no. I didn't come say on, that. Come on, Marcus Rogers. That's saying that. <laughs> Yo, did y'all hear the conspiracies though? Like they saying that 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 they like watermarked, especially watermarked the ballots, so they know which ones are legit ballots and, and which ones are supposedly the ones that that the Democrats faked. Imagine that. Nah, I ain't hear about that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what the magazines are saying, man. I would like to see like what type of okay, what type of changes are you gonna do? You know, are you gonna set in place to prevent voter fraud in the future? Because, right. Trump Trump was Trump was talking about voter fraud in 2016. He won the election. As soon as he won, the Democrats started saying voter fraud. But I don't recall anybody putting anything in place to avoid any voter fraud. Right. Do you do you guys remember them doing anything, ch- making any type of changes whatsoever? I, don't think no. I feel like it's the same story. Oh, somebody who died years ago voted or whatever. You know, That's yeah. the thing is, my thing is, they because some of them are saying that there's voter fraud, but it's not to the point where. It can like, actually overturn the decision. Like it's, you know, there's but so much that, that you could do with a right. mail-in ballot because when you mail in the ballot, they have like a tracking information. So it's like a package. So they get the ballot, and then they they track and they say, oh, "All right, we received your 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 but, thing," and they confirm it because you're registered. You're supposed to be so, a registered voter. Right? But here's my. This? <clears throat> How about this though? What if, like, I don't really know, you know, all the law as far as mailing ballots but what if you determine they got to be in by like september and nothing after september gets counted mm. you know what i'm saying where it's done early enough that you could account for everything so we know who's dead who's alive who voted once and you can sort through all of that ahead of time but you don't put the information out there because you know you don't want people to try to com- combat the mailing ballots yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's too strategically. It's just like, we know this. We'll keep this locked down. We know the numbers. And then on election day, you start with those numbers. And then whoever votes on election day, polling. you just add to that number. That could be that could be true. Because all this posts, day in and having it by election day is just... But don't they also have... Obser- they have observers there. They have people that from each side that supposedly watch it, even though they were arguing that with Pennsylvania because they said that the observers were too far to see what was going on. And that's why they they um, uh, Trump's uh, the Republicans <laughs> went to uh, the, made them the too court. Far. Weren't, they, weren't they already planned to be where they were? Yeah, like, but they, they were saying was- they were saying that they were like 20, 30 feet back that the the people were saying you got to stay back in Pennsylvania in the state of Pennsylvania. So what Trump did was he went to court and said this is illegal, we need them at least 6 feet. Obviously everybody's social distancing because of COVID, right? But so I mean there's people there from each party or each side that are watching what's going on. So it's like how much voter fraud can you really do? Like is it you know when I when I read about it and I hear about it, people are saying it's 
it's not that impactful where it will overturn a decision that the country has made already. Like, it's just maybe, you know, you got people that move out of state, right? You have mm-hmm. somebody like, let's say I move from here and I go to Florida, but I still have my New York license. Mm-hmm. And then I go vote. Let's say this is an example for Biden. And then I go to Florida and, and I get my new ID and then I vote for Biden again there. You know what I mean? I mean, I probably won't win in Florida, but, you know, in New York, I win. That's what they're seeing. Like they're seeing double cases. They're seeing, you know, dead people. But how much dead people are you going to, you know what I mean? <laughs> they said, they said it was people, like, bro. yeah, it said like 1.3 million or something like that. Of dead people? Listen. 20, yeah, if, in, in, 20, in 2016, so, that's what Trump said. That's the so if he, he got like registered. If he got like 500 dead people in Georgia, he would have won, you know? 500,000, excuse me. I mean, yeah. If it's that many dead people. I mean, I'm just yeah. saying, like, if you throw it, spread dead, it out. This so is the dead th- people are Democrats. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. 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 I'm like, sorry. I don't really think people know what they be saying when they say right. that. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, look, government sucks at everything, right? When you have the, the stimulus check, you had dead people who were receiving it. Yeah, you know? true. So if that could happen, imagine, you know, a mail in ballot. And somebody be like, okay, you know, let me fill this out. Let me send it in. All right. Well, then no, let's like, eliminate. Is it going to be 500,000 people? Let's eliminate mail-in ballots, man. Let's eliminate that. Well, what, let's what, just eliminate what, it altogether. What's the vote count now? It's like, what, Biden got 74 million or something like that? Compared to 5 70. mil, right? Yeah, I think he's up 5 mil. Wow. That's what I'm saying. Like, you have you had to prove that there's so you know, much. I guess with, the, yeah, yeah, it's a lot to oh, over, it, overcome that. It is yo, sketchy. You gotta though. hate Trump to be up that many millions, yo. <laughs> nah, it, it is sketchy though, like because they said this was like a record, like the most people voting. They, they said more people vote, more black people voted for Biden than Obama. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. In general, they said <laughs> the most true. people voted. So you could you could chalk it up to all the media stuff to people wanting to get Trump out so bad that more yeah. people voted, or you could chalk it up to voter fraud. It could be. It could be both. You know what I'm saying? It, it could be both. right. I know I it's, it's there. I think it's both. I think it's both. I think like, it's Ma- there. Like Magus, Magus was saying, like, oh, you know, th- there was mad people who just voted for the president and they didn't vote for nothing else. Like, yeah, I believe that because I, I know a lot of people who went out to vote just to get Trump out of office. They didn't care about nothing else. They just wanted right. to get Trump out of office. Now, you know, on the flip side, I know people who didn't vote for a president, but they voted for everything else locally. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's, it's possible. Right. Well, that was a statement made too. That um, how is it that the I guess the Republicans are winning the Senate, right? But they're the same ticket, right? They yeah. ain't got a problem with that. They're on the same ballot, ain't no, yeah. Ain't, yeah. No, ain't no voter fraud there, right? Yeah, like yeah. there's no voter fraud when it comes to the mm. Senate or the House or I the didn't House. Even think about that. They lost the House though. Well, well the, yeah, that's that. That's know, true. The, the Democrats the have the House, and it looks like the Republicans have the Senate. They're not complaining about that. No, they're not. So that's another thing. Like, yeah, no, I'm yeah. just saying they're not complaining about the house. They lost the house. They're not complaining about. Wasn't it. they already losing it anyway, though? Yeah, the but Senate they wasn't losing the Senate. The yeah, Senate they, the Senate was. was they wasn't losing. losing. Yeah, even though you have Georgia has a special election in yeah, January. A runoff. Oh, runoff. There you go. But I thought the so. Senate was like almost down the middle, though. It's like, close. Yeah, it's like two, two, two uh, seats away, right? Like two, yeah, something like that. So but yeah, I didn't even consider that part. Yeah, because when you vote, right, you vote. Yeah, it's oh, Democrat yeah. forty six and Republican Party fifty right now. Oh, oh so okay. they got it. They need one more, right? Fifty one for f- to be majority. Yes. Yeah. So, yo, who's that's paying for another this argument too, man? Mm-hmm. Yo, who's paying for this recount? <laughs> you are. Like, like, I, you, you know what? Like, if, if, if we doing this recount and taxpayers are paying for it, man, I feel like if, if we find out that there was no voter fraud, at least we know there was voter fraud, right? Because there's voter fraud in every election. But if it's not to the level that Trump is saying, I think he should pay it back. Word. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it, it should say, it, it should, like, change the name from Trump Towers to Jimmy Towers. That's all I want. <laughs> right. And, right. and give, you, give you the presidential suite for That's 20 it. years. That's what I want. Nah, you know, just but, like once a year, I'm cool with that. You know, yo, I don't ask but, for much. But they kind of go back to that whole Senate thing. Wouldn't, if they're voting Republican, wouldn't most people vote Republican or is. 
It really, it, it's really like they don't want the president there, but they want everything else there. Cause like if I'm if I'm a Republican, I'm voting Republican all the way down, right? right if I'm a Democrat, down. I'm rep, I'm I'm voting. Shouldn't it be kind of even in that in that kind of sense? Like the you president, the House, and then the Senate. You would think. Um, yeah. Unless it's so, they, so that might be the flip. Is. That might be the flip side for Trump, where it's like, yo, we got the Senate, how we don't got the president? Nah, but you know what? Nah, I don't think so because no? th- there's a lot of people. There's a lot of Republicans actually on both sides. There's there's Republicans who didn't vote for Trump. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And still identify as Republican and vice right. versa. There's there's uh there's uh Democrats who didn't vote for Biden. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. That's a good so, point. So, so yeah, I I I don't I, I don't think it should be like like I heard in Arizona because of the, the stuff that went on with McCain and all of that, that you know, they it still was, oh, they voted for Biden. Yeah. yeah, they voted for Biden, but they mm-hmm. still voted Republican everywhere else. So mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. kind of makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. true. True, true. Oh, let's see how this pans out. 2020. <laughs> Get to remember, boy. Never Let's forget. Never for forget real. 2020, for real. Yo, 2020 is going to spill over to 2021 because Biden sure, is talking yo. about mandatory mask laws and, and oh, he might have us man. shut down for another that. year, bro. Like, I'm dreading you know? it, man. Yo, until, and that mandatory every- is outside, right? Like, you got as soon as you walk outside, you got to wear your mask. So you stepped out of your door. It's you mandatory. Know? Yes. Oh, oh son. And, 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 and did I, that in New York. I'm snitching on myself right now. I came outside when they had the the police, you know, when they had the, the curfews and every everything. Right. Nobody was allowed out. I was like, oh, as soon as curfew hit, I went right outside. <laughs> <laughs> did the opposite. I walked, I walked through the projects and the police kept driving past and they didn't say nothing to me. But the cops don't care. Like, yeah, they don't care. They it's just, home. you know, they're getting some nice overtime money. But I just, I hate, like, I hate it. And living in New York City, it's just everything shut down, locked down, this and that, be safe. And oh, yeah, that's man. how it is here, too, man. You know what I'm it's saying? And I see, I see the numbers close up because I'm in the healthcare field. You know what I'm saying? That's my day job. So I see what it really is. And it's. Mm. What's, your, what's your opinion of that? Because we, we, we spoke to somebody about that and they're in the same field and they were like, Ain't, yeah, I saw ain't. I saw the interview with with Monster Tava, you know what I mean, and I'm pretty hey. much I, mean, I agree pretty much with everything he said. It's like the numbers don't justify the lockdowns, right. you know, and and you got people that's stage four cancer being marked as a COVID death. Hmm. You know what I mean? Right, he was gonna um, die anyway. Yeah, you know, so <clears throat> it ain't it ain't what it is. Like I'm not one of the people that's gonna say it's it's fake. Like it's not fake, it's definitely real, but the numbers are definitely inflated. It don't it add up. It, it don't justify the lockdowns and, and the control that people gotta give up. Well, even to even the, like even even the cases, man. Yeah. Yeah, even the cases. Like, they test they tested for everything. It is not just coronavirus, even, like but not COVID nineteen. But even the tests are like skeptical. You know, I remember a doctor told me that it's so highly sensitive you could get false positives. Right. Well, his wow. justification was better safe than sorry. Wow. You had, <laughs> you know, you had people that were in the same people who were negative in the same space as someone who was positive for months, two, three months, and they're still negative because they get right. tested every two weeks and they're still negative. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, like the, uh, d- did y'all hear about the dude in, in Africa? I forget which country it was, the official. Mm-hmm. And he didn't do the test. Like he, he sent out the different ones. He gave it to like a horse or something. Yeah, yeah dude yeah, did yeah, it to like a oh, coconut yeah. or pineapple oh, or something yeah, like that. Pineapple, yeah. yeah, and it came back positive. And he was like, <laughs> "Get these out of here!" Like, come on, it, wow. My thing is, you can't forget history, you know. And I say this when swine flu came around, mm-hmm. you know, when Ebola came around. When uh, West Nile came around, it's like the same thing over and over and over. And people just keep going for it every single time. And it's just this fear of, you know, I got a friend that says, I'm, I'll take anything just in case, just to be safe. Or I don't want to give it to somebody else, even if it don't affect me. Because I'm like, yo, if you don't even have symptoms. Right. Right. And you still got to justify the danger. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you might not got symptoms, right? But you could still be sick. Well, even the symptom, even even like the the symptoms, bro. Like some people don't show symptoms and still have it, right? That, that's what they say. And everybody don't right. show the same don't show the same symptoms. Like I just I right. went to the dentist today and they took my temperature and it's like, well, everybody doesn't have a high fever when they get COVID. You know what right. I'm saying? Some people do. Yes, some people don't you know what i mean and so those, like the, the, this false sense of security like you're gonna take my temperature like that's gonna do something let me tell you something those masks don't do a damn thing i agree i and agree I'm, and i'm telling you for somebody that knows because i'm close up now the n95s cool but right. the regular mask ain't doing nothing you right know, again this false security to me it's like 9 11 all over again where you give up your whole security and privacy facts for government to make you safe <laughs> and protect facts. you Mm -hmm. you know I mean? same thing over and over again so i just be sitting back and watch it play out and you know people just think i'm rebellious and defiant but i mean again i'm not gonna do something because you tell me it's something that my own sensibilities tell me is not right you know but I mean? then you, you know and there's rumors now of uh mandatory vaccination man they, they really i was just yeah. They're really pushing this vaccine. When, when I turned on the TV the other day, that's all I saw was, yo, oh, oh, Pfizer got this this new, you know, vaccine it's and it's 90% normal. efficient and all that, you know? It's going to be as normal as your hep B and hep C. You know what I mean? How yeah. we just kind of right. like, oh, you know, it's whatever. That's how they're trying to make this mm -hmm. in the next, like, 20, 30 years. How it, right. They, like, wow. nothing. You know what I'm saying? I wake up in the morning, I get in the car, first thing I hear is a vaccine commercial. You right. know, be a hero, be testable, be a hero, volunteer to be tested. And, and yo, even the hepatitis out. joints for your for your child when your kid is born. Like, yo, my yeah. kid ain't sharing needles with nobody. What they need a hepatitis yeah. vaccine for? I just I just had you a know? baby last week and they, right. they it was like Oh yeah, congratulations. You know, yeah, thank you. you yeah, for real. Like, oh the hep B. And you know, if you say no, they start looking at you crazy. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Man, but it's like I'm not with that. Cause yo, real talk, my my four year old. She's in remote school right now, mm -hmm. and they talking about she gotta get um she gotta get the flu vaccine, otherwise they right. kick her out of remote school. What? She <laughs> what kind of Are you freaking kidding me? You see what I'm saying? So you can't tell me there's not something sinister behind it, right? You no, know, like and then that joint's only like forty percent effective too. Yeah, right. yeah, health you know thing. and then and and, they and justify it, you getting it right. every year because it's right. different strains and it's like come on man you, and then your job too right they probably pressing you about shots too right oh yeah you're in the it. they already know me I'm, <laughs> i ain't doing it or they require you to wear a mask right doing that season mask. i don't wear a mask and i don't take it <laughs> and, I'm, and guess what and i'm the only one that's never sick every year <laughs> yo that's real i never I got Thank the Lord. I, I haven't gotten the flu in years. Right. In years. I don't even remember. One, maybe two times I've had the flu. Yeah. In my whole, in my whole life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm among people. with you around shots, every day. Flu right. Shot, sick people. And I don't get it. And everybody around me that gets the flu shot gets sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, they put That's it right crazy. in your bloodstream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you, you ain't getting that Pfizer vaccine? Man, listen. Uh -huh. God equipped the human body mm. <laughs> to live. Preach like, What was people doing before America or before? Yeah, that's right. Yo, before, Switch, he's listening. You know what I'm saying? What was they doing? <laughs> it was, I don't at, know. It wasn't dying at 30. I guarantee you that. Yeah, that's mm. true. Switch, you heard that? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you seen that Live Nation? They want to so check people's um uh, vaccines. Today. Vaccinations. Yeah, they're going to concert. I guess they ain't getting no money. We're going to be on verse. Switch words for gates. Word. Pass me the yeah, oxygen. Right. Right. From Listen, the when they start losing money, money talk. When people stop. Yep. They're going to let everybody in. They're going to dead all that. But if you got enough sheep that says, oh, we got to do it to be safe. We're, We're going to be go. here. But I, I also heard mm. that they do the, the health, the health kit, which I never understood that whole health check pass before you go to work and all that. I, um, they yeah. were saying that they're gonna do that with the concerts too. Like you, you right. fill out whatever, right. and then they check your temperature. Right. You know when you, yeah. some people that they before they go to work they do like a health pass. So mm -hmm. they they ask they have a series of questions like, yeah. were you did you have the fever this morning? Were did you, you travel yeah. to China? Yeah, yeah. yeah. China. So they still yeah, ask that. in the city um, when I go to visit clients and stuff that building obviously they're you know crazy buildings they in the main lobby they make you fill out uh 
the paper and you got to check have you been to China in the last couple of weeks? Um, do you feel any symptoms? Yes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> dumb, and then bro. you got to you got to sign it and date it and then give it to the guy and then he goes, okay, yeah. check your temperature. Like, come on. Yo, China asking, have you been to America? <laughs> like, oh, have, you, have you been in a Trump rally? <laughs> hey, yo, America for real. <laughs> what are you talking about, yo? They still talking about have you been to China? They calling it the America virus. Right. Come on. America <laughs> virus. <laughs> America <laughs> virus. <laughs> the Trump virus. <laughs> right. <laughs> the Chuck Norris virus. <laughs> right. right. I was, yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what's up, man. Hey, does any does anybody know um what's in in this uh this new vaccine that they're pushing? Probably because I, like I you're right, that's what I was about to ask. Does it does it have that? Because I know a lot of these other vaccines do. Most vaccines do, right? Yeah. You know what's another thing? How is it that Pfizer can claim ninety percent effective, and Moderna are supposedly around the same, but then these other companies can't say thirty to forty percent. Uh, effective rate like mm. what makes Pfizer so special what makes Moderna so special isn't Trump Trump investing in that I mean he shot I mean he shot them out before oh. but you know I think I think I don't I don't know if he I don't know if he's invested in those companies but he's he's invested in a, in, a, in another one called Sonofi or something like that uh, I was so talking to so uh Sanofi you know, Sanofi um I was I was reading about that I was actually talking to someone in, in the grow the heck up chat um, so he he has like a, a family estate that he's invested like ten billion dollars, right? It's a mutual fund, and that mutual fund, like the largest um, investment, is that company, but it only makes up like three percent, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's invested in that sense, you know. Um, so my question to him was like, yo, but regardless if it's only three percent, we're talking about ten billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking like a hundred dollars. We're talking about ten billion dollars. <laughs> so three percent is a lot. You know what I'm saying? And and mm-hmm. the fact that um, he can say something about a company and it'll directly affect that company. You know what I'm saying? Like good or bad. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, to me, it was kind of a conflict of interest, especially when you look at that that company stock. Um, not not the not the uh, not the mutual fund, but the actual stock of that drug company, and it's. It's uh, it's been going up since March. Now the counter argument, the pushback to me was like, well, all the stocks have gone up since March. You know what I'm saying? But like, well, the health ones. Yeah, right. But this one specifically, he spoke about. You know what I mean? It, it benefits him because they they manufacture hydroxychloroquine. You know. Mm. So, what, but these other happened? companies that you're talking about, I don't know if he's invested in them or not. But what happened to herd immunity? Like, you still got to take the vaccine if you had it and you're immune now. Right. Right. Like what would be the point of taking well? I mean, you know that after, point? yeah, after that they were pushing that the antibodies were only there for like three months, six months, and then That's you could catch I'm it again. This is all you fake. Know? <laughs> <laughs> it's all fake. I'm tired of this. Yo, yo rigs for president. You heard? Listen, I'm, about to use my, I'm about to use my dual citizenship, man. <laughs> you out? Skirt, skirt. Out of here. <laughs> you, you know what's interesting about that vaccine is like Trump has been pushing it, but I don't I don't hear his uh, supporters complain about that because a lot of them are a- anti-vax and nah. But you know he said he said he said that um this see this is another like just pointing out hypocrisy man. He was saying that we're gonna have a vaccine after the elections, right? And mm-hmm. Fauci was like, nah, that's not possible. It's not gonna happen. You know um. It takes years. It t- yeah, yeah. When you know we have to abide to science or whatever, whatever what he was saying. And now he's now pushing look. the vaccine. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, we ready. You know what right. I'm saying? Like line up. Yeah. Listen, and, yeah. he's not a politician. He probably said things too fast and they had to clean it up. Yeah. But now they pushing it, man. And it's it's like and it's crazy because now the Democrats are like before yeah. they were like Trump is trying to kill us. He's trying to mm-hmm. open up. He's trying to we give us a back. It's not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not ready. And now they're all over it. Like, come on, man, yeah. y'all got how they with it. So then, yeah. so then, does that really make him crazy? Not too crazy. I don't think he's crazy at all. I think that's a media spin. I think I think he's crazy, but I don't think what he said was crazy. I don't think he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I don't think, I think he's crazy. I don't think you got to be a little. You got to be a little crazy to be president, man. Nah, you no, got to be a narcissist to be president. True. Yeah. Narcissist yeah. is, is the right word. True. Because that. if you're willing to give up your bread just to be president, you're already richer than the president. Why are you right. there? Because you're a narcissist. Right. It helps right. your ego. Yo, when the dude gave up his bag, too, he's like, nah, I don't want it. 
I'll do this joint for well, free. Well, he said because it's because of Biden and Obama that he went for, to be a president. Yeah. When he told him that. He said, if they could do it, I could do it. <laughs> right. It's like, it's because of people like you. you. Remember that video I sent you? When they told me, like, they, they, there's a documentary on it. Is it where, they, where he was getting roasted at a mm-hmm. dinner? At the White House dinner, yeah. Yeah, and they was and Obama oh, was yeah. going in on them. They said, "What is that?" I showed you that video, but there's an actual documentary behind mm. it. And it was like at that moment is when he was like, "He he gonna run for for president." He's like, "I'll show you." Yeah, basically. Like, yeah, because like, Obama yeah. had 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 went to one of those dinners, right? And he nah, it was Trump. Dinner. It was his dinner. It was his dinner. Oh, it was yeah. Trump's dinner. Yeah. It was no, no, no. It was Obama's dinner. Obama's yeah. dinner. Okay. It wasn't a roast session. Like it was a dinner. That's just what it turned into. That's what they it turned into. Him. Right. That's oh, why I was saying he wow. was tight because it wasn't. It was a dinner, and they said Obama he, like so Obama so, just so, singled them they, out. Yo, they created a super villain. But isn't that, that what moment. they do at that they, moment? They, nah, they do that though. They do that at a roast, not at a dinner. Yo, <laughs> no, yo they, they created that. a super villain, son. <laughs> right. Like that dude, that little dude from Incredibles. Yeah, from Incredibles. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yo, <laughs> yo, that's crazy, man. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, well, let's talk about this. So recently, we had our brother Hurt on the hey. show. Yo, he was on hey. he was on Ruslan's today, right? And just the messenger, yeah, yeah. yeah Ruslan and just the messenger, messenger were both shout on to Ruslan. them. Shout out to them. They were here a while ago, um, and we also made a commitment and promised to them that we'll listen. Yo, to they the put album. us on the spot though, right? <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> they were like, "Yo, that was cool." How that was about? Sure. I didn't expect that though. There's like, let's make a bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we definitely made a commitment and. Uh, so that was dope because we got a lot of us got the album before it's even Early. dropping, which is coming out Black Friday. Make sure that y'all next week, that's next week, two weeks, right? Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Make sure y'all get that Urban Epistle. Um. So, yo, let me know y'all thoughts. What's your favorite track? Which was what's, what's some tracks that y'all like? What were some things? Uh, you know, y'all I like the that? cipher for sure. That that was like the first joint that stood out to me. Yeah, that was on my list too. That's on your yeah. list. Yeah, it's on my list. Really? So, yeah, you don't like the cypher joint? <laughs> yeah. Look, look, look. He's like, word? <laughs> look, look. Nah, I, quick, that was because of quick, Jay. Quick. Like, out of all the joints, like, he right. put cypher? Like, quick disclaimer for me. What's that supposed to mean? Quick disclaimer for me. I, I, don't, I don't listen to music a whole lot. Like, I listen to audiobooks. I listen to podcasts. I really don't listen to a lot of music. I especially don't listen to a lot of um, uh, CHH. I especially don't listen to a lot of West Coast chh or any west coast music for that you know what i'm saying so like yeah. i went i went into this like <laughs> this dude subtree keeps going down yeah is it right, right. <laughs> i'm just letting y'all know where i'm coming from you know what i mean so i was kind of like was this recent or you've I, always been this way because you've been I, dropping in, you've been dropping I, music videos when we talking in the chat i um nah it'd be 90s music yeah, bro but, but he's a new not, yorker at heart my man my man <laughs> i never dropped the west coast uh, nah, uh nah, video nah. You know what I'm saying? And that, 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 that proves my point is that I don't listen to West Coast. I never listen to West Coast music. So I was kind of hesitant to listen to this, to be honest with you, because I didn't want to give my man a bad review. I was like, tag, man, I got to. But you and like his West Coast last music. Project? No, I didn't. I've never listened to his projects at all. I've oh, never listened to any of his okay. projects. Um, I've listened to some of his features, you know what I'm saying? And I thought that mm. they were dope. I heard him on Hog Mob stuff. I heard him with mm. Bizzle. And I thought they'd been dope. But mm. again, I don't Project like is West different. I don't like West Coast music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I just yeah. don't like that sound, you know? So I was kind of hesitant, man, and I was actually impressed, man. I was actually impressed with 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 with, with the album. I thought it, I thought it, I thought it was a good album. So Cypher was the first one that, that stood out to me for sure. That joint, yeah. that joint was fire to me. Um, who's that? Who's that, that on there? Was that was that the Bazooka? Yeah, Bazooka the, the Disciple and John C. Yeah, yo, actually, I've I never heard of John C. 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 I'm sorry, Young C. I never heard of Young C until I heard that track. And then I went and looked for Young C's music. I was like, yeah. yo, who's both this of the, dude? Both of them are dope. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and yeah, Bazooka the yeah. Disciple. But I heard of him because he was dropping music like every week. He was doing like a freestyle or one-minute okay. clips. Um, mm-hmm. So I already know how he coming. But yeah, Young, Young C definitely stood out to me. Like in the whole project, I felt like he had one of the better verses out, okay. out the whole project, in my opinion. But 
yeah that, that, that made me look in, project. that made me look into who he is because that's how that's how impressive his verse was mm. wow okay wow. but yeah never, what else we got i never really heard just a messenger before this project mm -hmm. i'm saying i'm familiar with her um i think my favorite record was probably concrete yo oh, that one yeah. stood out to me today i heard yeah. it today i heard it today and i was i was riding in the car and i was like yo this one go hard yeah that was like some old death row yeah in a in a heyday type of vibe you know what i'm saying like right and it was both going in like i really that one jumped out to me yeah, most, yeah. probably you know i do yeah, i love nah. the beat like i i like i like west coast rap i like east coast and um especially 90s west coast and that kind of gave me that that vibe that, that vibe mm, yeah okay. you know so it was like it was just a move it was a, a moment you know what i'm saying right when that came on i think that was right. a good choice production you thought you you felt like you were riding in a in a six four impala oh yeah you know <laughs> you, know you 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 was, you you was about to crease up your, your khakis huh you about to starch them uh, all right now we're going far <laughs> starch them. I, just, I just roasted them west coast dudes for that right <laughs> we bringing your your shop shop yeah dudes. that 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 song was definitely on my on my on my doctor concrete? as well yeah concrete that was, concrete. Hard. That was hard. and i liked um i like running with ray knowledge I thought that hook was fire. Running was dope. Yep. Yeah, I like that one too. That's go. on my list. Here we go. Here we go was dope too. Oh, I had that here we go. That's what, that's here we go with Jared Sanders. Yeah. Jared could sing, sing, bro. Right. This dude throw on some <laughs> auto tune and this dude could sing, man. <laughs> Got his T Pain on, huh? Yeah, man. And I like, I like, Ur I like urban, I like urban, I like the urban epistle. The I like way the that, first um, track. Yeah, I like that one. The too. way that, um, that one was like, right. the one that was one of my favorites too. The way that Hurt came on was like oh okay this is how yeah. we popping it off okay yeah. Yeah. i hear you yeah her, her, her is definitely nice, her is definitely an mc her is definitely Yo, an MC. Her, let me tell you her is Be nice you know what i'm saying and he yeah. got and he got presence so when you kind of put the two together you can't right. really lose right you know i'm saying like he he really got bars i appreciate um you know his his bar work just the messenger is nice too i like I like his vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like right. he's yeah. easy to listen to. He's easy on my ears. So um they both did their thing on that joint, Urban and Pistol. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As soon as I'm like, oh, this is how we start the album. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then that, we went um, to concrete. You said what? Concrete? The concrete, and then the streets concrete won't let me end. live. We reckon so. Oh, yeah, that joint. Oh, yeah, that one right there. That, that, that was, was my fire. that was my other favorite one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of what they were saying I I relate to and I've been through, you know what I'm saying? So and it had it was believable too yeah you know, right a lot of people ain't really believable and i think that's one of the um things you can't really manufacture is the authenticity and, and some people it comes off manufactured so even though they might be skilled it won't really resonate with me because right like, eh. yeah, yeah you know? i, I yeah, think they dumb. should push that single more because I, I think that joint could be a lot bigger than it is you know what i'm saying yep. then that's what I. Think and the so. video is super fire yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that single's already out. I think they need to push that joint more because yeah. um that joint go hard, man. Yeah. 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 Yo, the West Coast just came out of you. Go hard. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> cool. It go hard. Yeah, that yeah, was man. that was my third favorite. Um yeah, man. Shouts out. Extra Shouts. emphasis on the R's. Uh <laughs> yeah. I tell you the Soul Save joint made me feel like seeing them West Coast barbecues or something. <laughs> Yo, that joint came out as soon as I hopped in the car. That was the first one that came out too. Yeah, the soul yeah that one was a, yeah, that one was a good one too. It just sound like a West Coast party. Yeah. I yeah. feel like I feel like this. That's exactly album. what I thought. I thought like it was like a barbecue type of joint. You know what I mean? Like like typical West Coast called. video. Yep. Oh, look at <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. I think I think this album is going to be good as far as like when they perform it and it's live in the, in the ministry because the words that they saying is definitely like the content is on point and it's there you know what i mean and it's, I, I can tell that they did this with a ministry focus like yeah it was yeah. definitely to minister yeah. to the streets to the crowd you know some people they do music and it's kind of you know kind of like your headphone you relax you chill but this was more like i feel like a live performance kind of album where you know that they're gonna go out and and minister this and and, and it's right. going to sound even better live you know right. what i mean when you hear it yeah. live so that, you know and I, I agree with you because i think i think um 
like like what you said, like it's, it's definitely about ministering because I, I think a lot of dudes, I won't say a lot of dudes, I think some dudes in CHH, um, they want to remind you of how how gangster they were. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, don't sleep on me. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm so gangster or whatever. And, and I, I didn't get I didn't I didn't get I didn't get that from. So what? No, I said it like they still get it in. Right. Right. And, and pause. But. <laughs> I'm I'm saying I didn't get that from this. I I I didn't get it from this album. Like I got like like these are some real dudes. You know what I'm saying? They're they're not. Yeah, they're not trying to flex on nobody. You know what I mean? But you 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 like you know. You know what I'm saying? Like if you come if you come from the gutter, you know that these dudes are official. Like when Mm -hmm. her said you go strapped to the funeral, I was like, oh, I remember that. (laughs) Like, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was like last week for you, right? Jay, you remember that, really Jay? Don't Jay, you remember that, right? When you used to go <laughs> strapped to the funeral? Yeah, basically. What? Yo, what that? that don't mean you're not saved, though. Like, you go strapped to the funeral, that don't mean you're not saved. That's true. That's you true. Just I mean, I was a that Christian means, when I did it, so. That means you're you pro-America. That's all that yeah, means. You just carry you know two way. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, they and to add to that, they rep, they rep, they, you know, they rep, they side, they rep right. Cali, the West Coast. You could tell it was... That's what it was in there. Like, and I think yeah. that's that's what's yeah. missing for me. It was a good album. With mm-hmm. a lot of music, that's what's missing because I know the internet put everybody in the same room, but, you know, music isn't regional. It may be, maybe it's an old school mindset, but, like, when I put on a Cali artist music, I want to feel like I'm in California. Right. And that's why I make music like New York. You know, I mm. want you to feel like you're in Brooklyn when you hear my music or you're in right. Queens when you hear my music. And that's kind of what I want to get from the West and from the South. I right. don't want everybody sounding like the South. Right. 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 So I think Yo, that that's was, real. I, I definitely yeah. got that feeling from, uh, from masterpiece. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, shout out to Justin messenger, urban, the pistol, Word. um, and, Herb. and, and our boy hurt, um, you know, the whole Royal priesthood, Keep doing y'all uh, thing. My, Black my Friday experience, experience that's dropping. Yeah, they got a couple videos co- that keep dropping right every week or something, right? Like little uh, interviews that come out mm. from uh, RPH experience. Yeah, I've seen a couple videos. I'm gonna check again, but anyway, check them out, man. And we here, man. So with masterpiece being brought up, what's up with my man Riggs, man? What uh, we got? What we got musically, man? What we got dropping, man? I mean, these days I'm more engineer than rapper. So, Mm. you know, I'm mixing a lot of projects like Joshua Penn, AKA Young Josh from a couple years back. Okay. Ah, From Philly? Coming out. Yeah. So I've been working on his album. Um, You know, I helped put it together. Well, he had a lot of music. You know what I'm saying? He had like three albums worth of music. Wow. And he was just sitting on and um, he couldn't make a decision. So, you know, he hired me on board. I chose twelve tracks for him. Nice um, that I think go together. Okay, so you A and R too. You know, you're not just mixing. Yeah, right. because yeah, that's mm-hmm. just the way my mind works. That's always been right. kind of my gift. You know, what I mean, even before I was really doing the, the studio thing. You know, what I'm saying I'm like, right. you know, for a body of work, you want someone to be able to sit through it from beginning to end. Right. You know, and and artists who are just artists, they can't really see the you know, from up looking down, like the higher level looking down. So they'll right. just pick their favorite songs, put them together and call it an album. Right. And um, you got to, you know, you got to take people's listening experiences somewhere. So um, all the songs was was fire. And y'all know I'm a critic. I don't be liking stuff. So right. um, I'd be like, <laughs> that's why we brought you on. <laughs> yeah. You know, but um, I liked majority, if not all the songs. So, I said, put the ones together that make sense, especially coming back out after all these years, mm-hmm. you know. So how um, long has it been for him? It's been a while, right? Uh, I want to say 2014, maybe. Wow, uh, was the last project I think. Um, but yo, this joint is fire. Like I've I've had it for some months now, and I still listen to it. So I'm mixing and mastering that right now. I'm about 60 percent done with it. Um, so that should be out soon. Um. I'm working on an EP with Sela. I'm producing the whole thing. What? Let's go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You've been you've been hearing the stuff he put out. 
you know what I'm saying, with Ferns. So he's he's in that gutter bag. So you right. know, he, oh, call, right. he called me like, all right, I'm ready, <laughs> you know, because you know that's my zone. So he's like the best kept secret too, man. I don't think a lot. I think a lot of people sleep on him, man. Yeah, yeah, but he, I, I mean, he'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? I tell him because he's doing what everybody else do, not what he do. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's showing his versatility. And my thing is, all right, we know you're versatile. Now do you. you do right. mm-hmm. And um, I think now he's getting more in that zone. And um, he's seeing, you know, the results of it and the response. So right. uh, we're putting an EP together. I'm producing the whole thing. Because actually, Hoodie Season 3 was supposed to be that. I was supposed to produce the whole thing. But I ended Got up it. producing like four joints on there instead. But um yeah, so I'm working on that. I'm possibly working on. And you you got you had you had a verse on that with Voss, right? Yeah, I had two verses on the project. Two verses. The, okay. Yeah, the one with Voss and the other one NYCHH. I okay. think it's cool. With me, yeah. him, and Precise. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and I'm working on possibly another album right now. Uh possibly. I'm in, yeah, because I'm in the early stages. Like the again, the way my mind works, I don't just make songs and put them together and call it an album. Like, I got to have a reason. Like, if I feel like God ain't giving me nothing to say, I'm not going to rap. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm not super in love with it like that, you know. Yeah. Um, But if he gives me something to say, then I kind of create a world. I approach albums like films. That's right. why the masterpiece sounded the way it did. You right. know what I'm saying? So I have, like, my first act, my second act, my third act. So if I don't have that in place... I'm not going to make music. Once I have that in place, then I know the songs I need to carry out, you know what I mean, that 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 audio visual type of right. thing. Now, Masterpiece was your first album, right? Second. Second so, album. Yeah, the first one was New York Renaissance. Um I dropped that 2012. 2012. I dropped that. Yeah. And that was more so like I just got to get this out of my system. So it was me just, you know, having fun, rapping, putting stuff together. And yeah. again, that New York vibe that even from then yeah. I felt like was missing. You know what I mean? So it was a culmination of like everything before it up to 2012 when it came out, you know. So and with that album, a lot of the process, I was literally walking through Queensbridge, sitting down on the bench by the basketball court, writing a song called Project Bench. You know what I'm saying? While I was literally there, you know, at the Brooklyn Bridge, writing another record. I mean, listening to beats while I'm on the train, like just kind of soaking that all experience. that experience. Yeah, you know, and bringing that. And then with Masterpiece, like I said, it was more like film oriented. I had a story. I wanted to tell my story, but not the typical way people tell their story. And, yeah. you know, we in the era of playlists singles nobody really listens to bodies of work anymore right. so me being me instead of going with the wave i'm about changing the god you know what i'm saying so i'm like all right what will make someone want to listen to an album mm. and that's kind of how i built that project where the songs individually they could live and do their thing but as a body of work you kind of just will let it run like watching a movie yeah, you know what I'm saying even though you've seen the movie, you're like, oh, I'm in the mood to watch, you know what I'm saying, Dark Knight Rises today, like, mm-hmm. and you just kind of have it on and let it run. So, um, yeah, and I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on, just have that approach. Um, now, do you to, to my projects? Do you like engineering more? Do you like uh, rapping more? It's, like, it goes in phases. Like right now, I'm loving engineering, um, and then I get in these modes where I love producing more. Like, mm-hmm. rap is probably my last on the list, usually. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because so it's just like, cause I'm not, yeah, because I'm not really talkative. So it's like, once I say what I got to say, ain't really much else to say unless I experience something so different that I got you something gotta to say it about down. it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I don't really got that much to say. So engineering, I feel like I create a feel. You know what I'm saying? I can mm, manipulate right. feels and vibes and you know what I'm saying? I, I get that from engineering. It's like coding because I code too. So like for me, it's it's the same thing where I'm kind of, I got this palette and you kind of give me all these elements and I can make it whatever I want to make it. And I kind of get that with producing too. So that's why I kind of, I get in my producer bag if I don't feel like engineering. 
you know. Now, do you do videos too? Videography? No, no. no okay. I hate. I hate. Oh, I'm messing with you. <laughs> that was, nah. you know, and that was something that I noticed too. I was like, I, I didn't see you drop any videos for your last project. Yeah. Well, the plan was, like I said, I, I created it like a film. So that plan was to actually do a video for every song. Hmm. That was the original plan. Um, and I had somebody doing it. And um, well, AI, AI was going to shoot all my videos. But the fact that she's all the way in Buffalo kind of made it tough for right. me being in New York City. So she came out, you know, spent the weekend here. We shot, uh, we shot a video. But Overall, it wasn't going to work out the way I wanted it to. Yeah. And I know a lot of people that do video, but not everybody got an eye. And I really respect her eye. Yeah. Yeah, she's so, nice. Yeah, like she's incredible with the art. And we're like, like Josh always like, yo, you and I, Tina, are just similar when it comes to that art thing. Like right. we speak a language that she knows what I'm saying without me saying it and vice versa. So it kind of just made sense, you know, to to do it that way. Um and it was going to, you know, like a barter thing because I had mixed her last project that had came out, uh, Black right. Canvas. Black Canvas, mm -hmm. I mixed that project. So she was going to do the videos for me. So um, wow. long story short, you know, videos is a lot of work. And then with the distance, so it didn't work out that way. And I kind of figured that could happen. So I kind of made the music not trendy in case I wanted to drop a video two, three years later. It could still right. be relevant. All right. It's not dated, so, right. Yeah, so it's possible that that could still happen, um, because it's still something I want to do, and that's kind of also real dope. that's kind of what also prevents me from going full steam ahead with another album, because I'm like I didn't fully get out everything I wanted with this one mm, yet. Got you it. know what I mean? Without the visuals, but um, but either way, you know, I'm still crafting. So right now, I'm sitting on one new song. I'm just kind of sitting on it, because again, I don't really know if it'll fit depending on where I'm going right well, i'm not going so you know we'll see what it turns out to be so but right now i'm just mixing everybody's new project like so I got my hands in something <laughs> yeah so you mixed ai's album um who else have you mixed this that's in the chh uh industry? i mixed some of hoodie <clears throat> season three for selah um i actually just did a record <laughs> with the og world famous curtis blow Wow. Oh wow! Yeah, I just mixed the record that he's on, and he liked it so much. He's actually gonna do another one. Um, wow! Yo! Wow! Yeah, that's so, wow. Yeah, him. <laughs> um, I got a joint I'm sitting on with um, Rock Nest Monster from Helter Skelter. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've been sitting on that for a while. Um, who else? A couple people. You know, I can't think of everything nice. right now, but um. You know, a so couple should, of lesser known artists. Um, so should the CHH artists start reaching out to you to get their stuff mixed and mastered? Oh, I'm or, the go-to. I'm the oh, go-to. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I'm going to start working on my album. Or, 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 or they gotta, or you got to, you got to, you got to pray about it first and then you got to reach out to them. <laughs> nah, I'm the go-to like, Don't just, call me. Just do it. I'll, just do it. So like, I, I went to. Uh, uh, you got to charge a tolerance right. fee for that. <laughs> <laughs> I went to an event, um, an award show right before COVID hit, and somebody came up to me that live in Florida, and it was like, "Yo, I heard you the go-to guy in New York." I said, "You heard right." <laughs> <laughs> but yo, y'all heard it right here, man. My man Riggs is the go-to guy. Yeah. He gonna be dropping something hopefully soon, I'm doing, <laughs> and I'm still doing features in the meantime. You know what I'm saying? Like when I get the call to drop a 16, I do that. So I probably nice. got like four features coming out that I haven't dropped yet. From nice. So, That's dope. Dope. Where can, where can people find you, Riggs? Right here on That's Not Christian. Well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo, 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 are you going, are you going to bring back uh, the great debaters? I think about it. You know what I'm saying yeah. if I get a video editor, I bring it back because you know I had you know I had a couple of dope guests. I had Acon's engineer on there, right? You know and I had uh, I was gonna have one of the members from Wu Tang on there. Like things was opening up for me, you know what I'm saying. But it's just the editing part. I was doing right. everything in the house and with all the other hats I wear. From I'm mixing this one's album. I'm producing for this one. I'm still right. writing features for this one. You know. Like me being a triple threat with the audio, and I'm really I take all three of those things serious. Like, I, right? You don't want to compromise, right? Yeah, to learn something else new now, it's like you gotta have a team. Like, 
you know, you can't do every single thing you get burned right. out. Like I still right. have a day job. I got a family, so mm -hmm. I can't do it all. So, you know, I don't mind the recording part, but when it comes to editing, like if I don't got somebody to do that, I don't know if that will come back, but we'll see, man. The Lord provides, you know, so For real. that's real. It always seems like you always, um, like I know you in the audio chat and it's always like, you're still like you're still one of those who's still like a student not in the sense that uh you know like you're a novice but it's always like you're always learning like you it, it always seems like you always just want to learn learn more about that's just craft. how i live my life in general you got to be teachable all the time yeah you know what i'm saying and that's like, dope in my walk i'm like that when it comes to music that's why i got so much better at my mixing and my mastering you know to where I retain all my clients because I know what I'm doing and I'm still teachable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Getting better, producing, rapping. You know, I, I'm trying to be the best at all three. Like, I want to be able to say nobody that does all three is better than me. <laughs> not, not out of arrogance, but because I put that time in. I put that. Right. In. You put in the work. Right. Gonna take me serious for all, all three because there was a point in time where they said Kanye could only produce. He can't rap. Mm -hmm. And no, he's not the best lyricist. He's one of the best artists and producers. You right. know what I'm saying Drake is one of the best rappers and singers that does both. You know, what right. I'm saying? you know, um, Dre don't write his stuff, but as an artist and a producer and as an engineer, he gets his props. So, um, again, I'm I'm about the changing of the guard. Whatever the wave is, triple threat rigs, the other thing. You know what I mean? So when it <laughs> comes next to, album, when it comes to bars beats and mixing i'm the go-to let's go <laughs> go to rigs that's what i'm talking about that's the next Triple album threat right, right there Bars, beats and mixing oh, what, rigs what's your handle where can people find you facebook uh, twitter instagram it's facebook rigs carrington instagram rigs carrington <laughs> it's uh twitter rigs carrington i'm not on twitter as much but you can find me there um oh. yeah and i'm easy telegram easily streets easily right accessible. Yeah, I'm in these Telegram streets. Heavy. I run Telegram. Now nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm accessible and I respond to most people. I mean, unless you ask me something stupid, then I'm going to leave you on my back. But, you know. To most people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I give it real. Some people, right. are, some things I see, I'm like, nah, I'm not giving time to that. <laughs> not dope, that. dope. Well, yeah, with that being said, we want to thank Riggs for coming on. Thank you for listening. Yes, Appreciate you, bro. We, we're, we want to make sure. Me. Yeah, make, we want to make sure um, you hit the subscribe button and also check out the channel sponsor, Eurific. It's still sanitizing wands. Get them while they're hot. Go to Eurific.com. Use promo code TNC to get $10 off and free shipping. And don't forget, we got new merch out. On shop that's not christian.com so go copy yourself a sweater a watch shirt your mouth, a beloved. mug yeah there you go watch your mouth <laughs> beloved and some new stuff that, that we're cooking up so you'll see it soon just make sure you check back uh all right we'll see you next week peace peace, peace.